Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you for clicking on today's get it all done video. Today I am cleaning out my car, going grocery shopping, making dinner, you name it, it's in this video. And this video is also my 1000 subscriber giveaway, which I cannot even believe that I'm saying, but you're gonna wanna stick around till the end so you know how to enter. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you're subscribed. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm giving you guys some great before shots of my car because this is what inspired me to do this video. I had so much to do on Saturday and I got in my car to go grocery shopping and I was like, nope, can't do it. I have got to clean out this car. So here are some really great before shots as to how disgusting my car is. My car is 11 years old and so I do feel like it looks pretty good for an 11 year old car and I do realize I am a little bit of a clean freak but I need to be better about vacuuming it out. And I also would love to deep clean maybe just the passenger seat and the driver's seat with some kind of upholstery cleaner. So if there's a product you guys can recommend for deep cleaning the seats, then definitely let me know so I can be sure to try it. this shop vac that I'm using linked down in the description box because Jack and I have used this for two projects now. We originally got this to do the drywall project that you're gonna see in my master bedroom makeover reveal video and that's coming out next week. So definitely make sure your bell notifications are on so you don't miss that. But I also felt like the shop vac was the perfect thing to use in here. I don't want to use my regular vacuum cleaner and this thing is so powerful. It sucked up every little nook and cranny and I did take out the floor mats and you'll see me clean those in just a little bit with a carpet cleaner because they were pretty bad. I don't have a garage, so they definitely get super, super dirty. And I would love to get those WeatherTech mats. If you have those and you love them, let me know. Also, if you have any recommendations for knockoffs, because I know the WeatherTech ones are super expensive and I've seen some other ones on Amazon. So if you have ones on Amazon that are cheaper than the real WeatherTech ones, let me know what they are down below so I can look at them. So while I'm cleaning out my car, now is a great time for me to let you guys know about my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I really can't even believe that I'm saying that. I did not think that I would get to 1,000 subscribers as quickly as I did, and I am so thankful and grateful for each and every one of you that subscribed to my channel. So here's how you can enter to win. First of all, I'm giving away a $50 gift card, Visa gift card. That way you are able to spend that $50 on whatever it is that you want or need most. I figured this was so much better than giving away a gift basket or something. I want you to be able to spend that money on something that you really, really need. So there are two things that you need to do to make sure that you are entered to win. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you've liked this video. And the second thing is to leave a comment down below letting me know that you are subscribed and tell me what you'd like to spend the $50 on. What is it that you really need or want right now the most? And I'll be randomly selecting one winner to win that $50. This giveaway is going to run for one week. So next Tuesday, I'm going to close the giveaway at 10 a.m. and I will be selecting one winner. I will announce it over on my Instagram, so be sure to follow me over there, but I will also contact you directly. So be sure to leave that comment down below and letting me know you're subscribed and what you'd like to spend that $50 on. Again, thank you so much if you're subscribed to my channel. I love each and every one of you so, so much and I feel so grateful to be able to share tons of motivation and homemaking life with you here on this channel. I'm done with playing. So I'm using this carpet cleaner here on the floor mats because they really, really needed it. And I think this is Woolite. I believe that's the brand that it is. And you just spray it on the mats, scrub it in, and then you let it dry. And then I just went back in with the vacuum cleaner and just vacuumed it up. It didn't say that it had to be like a vacuum cleaner with bristles on it or anything. And I feel like this did a really nice job because this shop vac is so powerful, but it smelled really good. You'll see how nice they look when I put them back in the car, but they also smelled amazing. I wish I could give you some 
television so you could smell what they smell like. It just made the whole car smell brand new. I did the windows and the dash is mostly just pretty dusty. I really need to keep it fairly clean in here. I try not to eat too much in my car and I need to be better about just keeping some kind of cloth in here to just wipe everything down because there was a layer of dust everywhere. But this is what the car looked like when I was finished and honestly, for an 11 year old car, I feel like it looks brand new. And we went to the grocery store after I cleaned the car and it was so amazing to put the groceries in the back and it smelled really good. I just don't know what it is, but it's just the little things in life, you guys, that made me so, so happy. So enjoy these satisfying after shots. Okay, so Jack and I just got back from the store, so I wanted to give you guys a little view of what we got. Um, this is not a very big grocery haul because we did pretty good last week getting all the stuff that we would need for dinners this week. So we just needed like a few things to kind of fill in. And then I got like some snacks for myself and some things like that. So this is kind of an overview and I'm gonna just jump in and show you guys what I got. Um, so we can start over here. Um, I got a giant bag of coffee. I have gotten this brand before. Um, this is the medium blend, house blend. Um, we got a few canned items because we're gonna try to make chili this week since it's been cooling down. So we got, we already had some stuff. So all we needed was a few cans for that. I got some lunch things. I got more baby carrots and some deli meat here. Um, I think I got honey, what is it? Honey, uncured ham, deli meat. And then I got some ham and cheese because we're gonna do baked potato night. So I already have like broccoli and stuff. So I love when I already have things in the house, I just have to grab a few things. Um, I got frozen corn for the chili. Um, I got some tater tots. Sometimes I like these for like breakfast potatoes. And then the two like main meals that we're probably gonna do this week is chili. So I got ground beef and then some chicken thighs. We're gonna do crock pot chicken thighs. Let me know if you guys would like me to share my recipe for that. I don't know that I've ever shared it um, here on my channel before. And then just a few produce items, a bell pepper and onion for the chili, baked potatoes for baked potato night. Jack found the cereal that he wanted, so <laughs> got that. And then yogurts, I love eating them for breakfast, but I also have been finding that they're a good snack at the end of my work day. Um, just like something really quick and really good for me to eat. So I got like a variety of those. And then we got some sodas for mixers. So we just got like a small pack of ginger ale and Coke. Sometimes we like to um, use those for like drink mixers and stuff. But yeah, that's all we got. Um, not a whole lot because we did pretty good last week. I feel like we get so good at meal planning and like using all of the food to its fullest. Um, so yeah, this was not, not too bad. Pretty good little haul. So just wanted to share that with you guys and let's go ahead and keep on cleaning. I'm just gonna take care of a few things here in the kitchen and then I'm gonna move on to vacuuming because the entire downstairs needed to be vacuumed and mopped so, so bad. I think that's just because of Kitten. She makes little messes everywhere. <laughs> Find 
So some of you may notice that I have some new curtains up in the living room and this is new. Let me know if you guys would like to see some kind of updated house tour. I feel like I am getting so close to sharing the entire house with you. I have one more room that I am going to reveal to you next Tuesday and then I think I would love to film a house tour and kind of show you and tell you where everything is from because I get so many questions about so much stuff in the house. So let me know if that's something you would like to see down below. want to set aside one day to just go around the entire house and do all the baseboards because I just feel like they are so so bad. Um, I do the living room pretty frequently because I can get to these and I can see them really well but anything that is behind furniture I just almost never touch and I'm afraid to because I know if I start pulling furniture out I'm going to see how terribly neglected they are but let me know if you'd like to also see a deep cleaning video. I haven't done like a heavy duty deep cleaning video in a really really long time so let me know if that's something you guys would like to see in the comments. seem to have the time but when it's hard you just grow cold up we should be good but we keep lighting fires the words you be cause we're scared of the silence we should be good but we keep lighting fires fires around ourselves we should be good but we keep lighting fires the words you be cause we're scared of the silence we're moving on to mopping and you guys know how much I love this spin mop and I got a new mop head because they do kind of wear out after a while you do have to replace them but I love this mop so much and cleaning with a new mop head was the most satisfying thing in the world. I'm just using my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface concentrate and some warm water. I'm going to get these floors cleaned up and then I cannot wait to share with you this super super easy dinner recipe that I came up with on the fly because I was rushed for time. Times set up a stage of lies. Say we're done, say it's over. Shouldn't be coming back, but somehow we cut back. Acting drunk, even though we're sober. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words you beat, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. No words repeat, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires round ourselves, it's deja vu.
lot of fires Would you be cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep out of fire We keep on talking and talking Talking and talking all right, so the floors are clean and now we're gonna move on to dinner and I came up with this dinner recipe idea pretty much on the fly because I had a can of this crescent dough that was just sitting in the fridge and I didn't know what to do with it but Jack and I had had one of those frozen pizzas it's like the DiGiorno brand pizzas but they have the crescent crust and it is so good that I was like we can just make our own and I will say don't do exactly what I did in this video because I definitely stretched it out a little bit too much so there were some spots where it got a little bit soggy because of the pizza sauce but it would probably work so much better if you just roll it out directly from the can and just leave it don't stretch it out or anything I just used a little can of pizza sauce I had already had open and I'm also a sauce girl so that could also be my problem maybe I just put a little bit too much sauce on it but we just did sauce cheese and then I had some pepperonis this was all stuff I already had in the fridge and then we just made a side salad to go with it and you'll see in just a second that it turned out pretty pretty good I would say be sure to not spread it out though as much as I did if you don't want it to be like too thin or too soggy but I thought that the like crescent roll type crust was actually pretty good and a little bit different than your normal pizza crust. We faded, but I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega. Even if we go a lot of us down, I know we are Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega Like the waves pull you down underwater and that's it super simple and it was actually really good very easy to make but that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching be sure to hit the like button and make sure you're leaving me a comment down below letting me know you are subscribed so I can verify it and comment and tell me what you want to spend that $50 on I cannot wait to pick a winner as a way of saying thank you guys so so much for 1,000 subscribers on this channel love you all so much and I'll see you guys again in the next video bye guys Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of break us down, I know we are Alpha and Omega